Yo ho ho, what's up and welcome to my latest video. I hope you bitches brought some... <clears throat> I can't say bitches in public, right? Okay, let me try again. Greetings travelers, we've prepared some awesome things for you and are excited to share it with you. This video is not about showing an instance, it's about how to do things in life. And with life I mean multiboxing, because that's our life, right? Okay, so what we have in stock for you is how do I multibox in general? Isn't the isn't multiboxing banned? How do I manage my melee team, you know, following, attacking and so on? What is my rotation or in general how to manage a rotation? And how do I handle healing? So let's jump right into the first topic, shall we? Question one. How do I multibox? Well, pretty simple. I'm using the software IS Boxer. Full stop. Second question. Multiboxing, is it banned or not? No, multiboxing is not banned and neither is IS Boxer. However, Blizzard prohibits the use of software or hardware that helps you controlling multiple accounts at the same time. That means anytime you send one, you press one key and send this key to multiple clients at the same time, you are violating the rules. And yes, I do Iceboxer in a way that violates this rule. But if you want, Iceboxer can also be used that complies with the mentioned rule. But in the end, it always comes down to the point you have to make a decision and you have to live with the consequences. So, melee composition, or how do I control the, uh, the team? But before we going on, I assume that you already have your team set up in IS Boxer and that you know some basics, you know, how to create a new mapped key and so on. If not, I've linked down Mirai's video series about how to set up your team, uh, setting up the basic hotkeys and so on down below in the info box. Check it out. For melee teams, the most common questions are, how do you get them to move to a target? Or how do you turn them towards the target while in melee, uh, melee range and similar? The answer to all of that is pretty simple. It's called IWT or interact with target. Interact with target is a native feature from World of Warcraft. For a normal player, it doesn't have really any benefit, but for multiboxers, well, it's making our life pretty easy. Basically, it lets your character interact with a selected object or unit. For an in-depth overview about, you know, the different class, com class and target combinations, how to set it up or how to troubleshoot, I've linked down below in the info box the appropriate page. So let's have a quick uh, let's have a quick demo how entire quick target works, right? So I'm gathering my team here. I selected the target and now I'm pressing interact with target that I've set up in Ice Boxer. And my characters will run to the target. Clicking it again. And they will run again and so on pretty simple pretty easy as you can see they are in combat mode okay talking about rotations in general and especially in the in a melee driven team you want one key that you can just keep spamming no matter the situation and that your characters will do you know whatever you have set to do that in IS Boxer, you obviously have to create a key or modify an existing key if you already have it set up. For me, I've called the key DPS, I've bound the key 4 to it. It only has one step, but within that step I have multiple actions. So within that action, obviously I have interact with target, because if the target is moving, you know, if the target is moving, I keep, sp uh, keep spamming the button. My characters will follow the target without me manually need to move them. My next action is the four key. The four key is pretty simple. It is 
an in-game macro that I've set up per character and it's simply the judgment. Then I have Hammer of Wrath, Divine Storm, Hammer of the Righteous and Crusader Strike. So these actions, as you can see, based on how these actions are written, it's a World of Warcraft macro. I have set this macro up in Iceboxer, but basically you could do the same in the client directly. To set up a macro in Iceboxer, you need to go to the Game Helper section. Here you will have World of Warcraft automatically created for you. And I've created a new macro set called Paladin. I have assigned my five Paladins to it. And inside that set, I have, well, all my Paladin macros that I need or want to use. So for example, as I said, I have Divine Storm. It is just cast Divine Storm, Hammer of Wrath, cast Hammer of Wrath, and so on. It's really just that simple. What you need to make sure in order this to get this to work is you need, as you can see, you need to assign a key combination to these macros. And the important thing is that this key combination is not used in game by any existing key binding. Going back to my DPS key. So let's say I want to add a macro to this rotation. I right click keystroke action name World of Warcraft macro. I select the target. So basically the clients I want this macro to be executed by. Let's take all with current, which would include all five characters I'm playing at the same time. And I'm selecting my Paladin set. And let's say I want to them to cast Exorcism. Okay, done. Here it is. And now it's part of the rotation, which means whenever all of these five actions before do not apply, Exorcism will be cast. And that brings us to how does the client or how does Iceboxer determine which of these actions is being executed since they are all sent at once to the client. Well, it's pretty simple. All of these, all of these abilities have cooldowns or in general, you have also a global cooldown. Some of them have a range requirement, like Crusader Strike, you need to be in melee range to, act, uh, to use it. By sending all commands at once to the client, it will, it will go down the list top to bottom. And for example, so four is my judgment. If the judgment is currently on cooldown, it will try to cast Hammer of Wrath instead. Hammer of Wrath requires the target to be 20% or lower in HP. So if that is not the case, it will move down to the next macro, which is Divine Storm. Divine Storm only has a cooldown, but does not have any other requirement. So basically this would be my first thing, if it's not on cooldown, to be executed and so on. So it, uh, the, the client or the server, better to say, will just go down the list and based on your cooldowns, your global cooldowns, range and so on, it will just execute whatever is currently matching to the situation. Let's see that in action. Taking my tunes here, I will pull this one to me. So now I'm just pressing four on my keyboard. Four, 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 four. Just keep pressing for like once a second or so. On the tunes, the execute. See, there was Hammer of Wrath at the end. That simple. So, all you have to do is just to set up the rotation and in which order you want them to be executed. And the, well, the World of Warcraft server will handle the rest. Let's talk healing or cleansing. In the past, I've already made a video about this. Uh, you can find it on YouTube. It's linked down below. And technically speaking, there's no difference to what I've explained. I don't know one and a half year ago in this video. It's 
and still the same rules apply. So I do not use repeater regions, I do not use click bars, I do not use video FX. And why? Because they are static. If, for example, I'm joining a raid, I also want to heal the raid, for example, you know, just an, ex an example. And when I use repeater regions, click bars, or video of X, I would need to change the click bar, repeater regions, or video of X to also include the raid frames. However, using my method, I do not need to care about this because this is all baked in. And what I'm referring to is the so-called sync cursor action. This action does exactly what it, well, what it name suggests. It's synchronizing the cursor from my main window to my other windows. And what this allows me, so I'm just uh, gonna press F2. F2 is my uh, flash heal. And I just hover my mouse here over my party frames and I keep moving them and then pressing F2. And what you will see, pressing one, pressing two, pressing three, pressing four, five, pressing four times the same on me. All four will heal me, as you can see. This also works if I would change this to a raid. On the left hand side, I have now the raid frames. Let's just say I want to heal persuasion. Typed two, healed them twice, now four times myself. One, two, three, four. Healed myself four times. As you can see, it's working flawlessly. So, how do I achieve that? As I said, I'm using the synchronized cursor action. And let's stick to the flash heal. So, the important things here is first, the button needs to be executed for pressed or released. Pressed or released. In the advanced menu, you have to set a reset. I have set it to reset one second. This simply means if for whatever reason the character cannot cast heal, it will automatically jump back to step one for the next character. Otherwise, the character would try to execute the heal without uh, the cursor being synchronized before, which would just lead to no healing or healing the old target. So in steps, as I said, my first step is sync cursor. You just right click the actions and selecting sync cursor action. Selecting a target, in that case, I want all of my paladin DPS, so my four paladins, like I've already set up here. And then I'm, I would need to add a step so that I have a second step. And the second step, the only thing that's in here, as you can see, is the world of, Mar is the world of Warcraft action, which, again, I have set it up in my game helpers. So we were calling the heal flash macro. As you can see, it's again pretty simple. The only difference to the other uh, offensive macros is that I have here the criteria at most over, which simply means wherever I have my most over is the target for the healing. Also, to um, because I do not want all four paladins to heal me at the same time. I've also enabled here, below the target selection, the round robin within selected target. This simply means when I, when I click once, then one paladin will heal, uh, pressing the button again, another paladin will heal, and so on. So it's just round robin. If I do not want this, and if I want, to, uh, want my paladins to heal all at once, I would just remove this. Simple as that. And the same goes for the clans I'm using. It's really, really always the same. It's synchronized cursor. Then in the second step, the ability itself, make sure that you have an advanced, set it to reset. And in the key itself that it's pressed or released. And yeah, this is solid, as I said. The only other requirement 
uh, is that the interface on all five accounts is the same. So whichever character I'm using, as you can see, the interface is always exactly the same. You do not need an add-on for this. You can use the native Blizzard UI or the native Blizzard rate UI. It's working fine with it. All you need to make sure it's the same. It's the same UI and especially that's the group names on the same order on all screens. Well, yeah, I hope that answers most of your questions. If you have more, just ping me on YouTube or join the IS Boxer Discord and ping me there. Happy to help. See you later.